ever think your email inbox is a little too full, you want to delete everything in there, just clean it out, and you realize, I get an awful lot of emails that I could probably unsubscribe to. That's how I feel for sure. And today we're going to talk about email marketing and the secret to making it an actual success, especially in the day and age where everyone probably wants less. I'm joined by Dan Walshmit. He's a business strategist, speaker, and author. Thank you so much for doing this. You have been consulting yes. major companies for yes. about, what, uh, five years five now years. about email marketing. Yes. And in the age of social media, clearly there's lots of different ways yes. to market to people, and people don't necessarily think about the strategy of email anymore. Why is this important? Why are we kind of rolling back and talking about well, this? Well, email marketing is still the most effective way to generate revenue. For these big businesses, it's the number one way you're going to buy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's also the number one way that they're going to annoy you, right? I mean, filling up your inbox with all these offers. And so businesses are trying to find ways to be more effective. How do they message you in ways where you do what you want them to do? And so sadly, a lot of them do it wrong, and they fill up your inbox, and then you're annoyed, and you unsubscribe. Well, so first of all, why aren't email messages being opened? Because that's the first step, is you receive it, and then you actually yeah. open it without de deleting so, it. So we spent years studying this, because that was the question we asked. Yeah. And thousands of hours trying to figure out why aren't they done. And we really came down to two things. They weren't timely, wasn't the right time for them, or the material to be nice wasn't really pertinent. It wasn't relevant. Mm -hmm. and, and all of those can change at a moment's notice. Think about if I sent you a timely email, but then the tragedy happens at the Naval Yard just a few days ago. Now my email that was timely, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden is not so timely. So you have to be aware of all these things that are going on. So why don't people respond or email marketing messages to me, if you're talking about getting it as a business person or a journalist, you're just flooded with them. And as an yeah. individual, there's a whole nother level of getting your email put onto all kinds of lists. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, it's, it's really busyness. And we studied this a lot. We thought, is it, you know, is it time of day? Is it who I'm sending it to? Mm -hmm. Is it targeting? It was really busy. You're a really busy person. And if you don't have time to answer a very long email, you're not going to. Right. So is less more then? Less is more in the emails. The okay. size of the email needs to be smaller. We actually found that by emailing more, more times, more frequently, up to 11 times, you are more likely. Day? No, no, 11 times okay. over a, like let's say a campaign, mm -hmm. uh, might, might be over a month or two months, you're actually more likely to get back to us. And usually your response was more favorable. Like, hey, Dan, I'm sorry. I meant to get back to you. I was really busy. But I do like uh, what you have to say. Interesting. So the key, though, is grabbing someone's attention. Clearly right. the subject line is very important. That's the most How important, do you yes. strategize to optimize that? How do you come up yeah. with the best line what's appropriate well the, the perfect example is the um this most recent election campaign of course they're raising you know hundreds of millions billions of dollars to run yep. a campaign and this really matters um so uh, the first thing we do is keep it very short we have to have a few words and it has to grip them and so, well you remember president obama when he was campaigning there was a subject line that was just hey yes and a lot of people yes. opened that they thought yep. maybe they got an email from the That's president right. the what? most effective one cam uh, campaign in fact one word hey but these businesses want to say things like 40% off, three hours only. And the problem is we're trained when we hear all those buzzwords to immediately push back, think it's some sort of a trick. Subconsciously, our default reaction is to say no. And like you said, uh, delete. Yeah. Well, so what is the best way? Like if you were talking about, I mean, you've consulted at G Capital, mm -hmm. at Siemens, and all these big companies yeah. also. I mean, you have offices around the world, Japan, Istanbul, Chile. How do you, what's the universal standout strategy for emails? Because I know yeah. I've worked in China for many years and I email in Chinese. The subject line or the marketing email from Chinese is very different than the one in English. Well, that, that's exactly right. So it, it depends upon where you, the tone of voice and where you're sending these to. But overall, what we found, there were some patterns. One of the patterns we found was that your email needed to be four to five sentences long. Those are the most effective emails, and they didn't have any pictures in them. Mm -hmm. So no HTML, plain text, four to five sentences, and make it simple. Put one sentence in a paragraph by itself, put another couple sentences in another paragraph, okay. and then finally, don't squeeze everything into one, into one email. And then send those emails 10 to 11, just like we're having a conversation. Let your emails continue your conversation. How do you compete with social media? Do you complement it? Do you... Just take one strategy? I mean, I don't think you can do that. It, it's complementary, exactly as you said. It, it, and that's a, another why, a reason why having 10 to 11 emails is complementary. Because while you're tweeting and while you're texting and while you're emailing, it all continues one big conversation. If I just send you one really long email, 
you tend to say go away, but when I, when I create a whole conversation, now we're talking and it's fun and it's effective too. If you can get that conversation started. That's right. And that is certainly one of the most um, difficult parts. Now, your, your work has been featured in a lot of different places. The Wall Street Journal has named one of your blogs, one of their top seven yeah. sales blogs. You know, looking at the entire industry, the marketing issue as a whole, you know, what can we expect? What, what are some of the challenges ahead beyond just the email and the social media that we talk about so much? What's coming? Yeah, so uh, more, better tools. There's a whole host of better tools that give us intelligence on people, know who our target market is, and make it easier to communicate. But sadly, uh, once we have these better tools, there are always a few who kind of run to the edge of too much. Think about it with telephones. We were happy to get a phone call, and then at 7 o'clock in the evening, we were like, no more phone calls. We actually had to have rules from Congress to, t to say no more phone calls. Mm -hmm. We're seeing that happen with email. Now we have canned spam. And perhaps we'll see something like that with social media, right? But these tools that are coming out really make it easy. Uh, to get to know your customers and deliver a story that really matters to them. So the more data, the better for the yeah. company. We can be more human, you know, be, be humans. And that's what buyers want. That's what, you know, these little people that buy from these big companies want. They want that big company to know them and care about them. And it's possible now, and it's becoming even more possible with the tools that are coming. What's the most successful company in using email strategy from what you've seen? Well, th there's a lot of them uh, that, are, that are really effective. Well, I mean, I like the way actually not that companies do it. I like the way that some of these political campaigns, you referenced okay. the, the Obama email that was so effective. Right. But um, there are a whole host of, e of, of companies that do this. Actually, Give me one company. Well, New York Times mm -hmm. does, does a really good job of sending pertinent emails in all plain text message. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, though, I, I have to admit I unsubscribe from a few of theirs. Um, you know, the what about a company that's consumer facing that's not a news media? Uh, I like I like Fab. Yeah, Fab. Fab. Which, yes, which sends me information. You know, they they send me pictures in the email when I click on the link of the actual product I might want to buy. It sends me right to the site. I like things like that. Um, they did something really cool where they sent me an email saying, "Are we overloading your inbox? If we are, we're really sorry. We don't want to do that. Unsubscribe right. if you want to." They like gave me the chance to unsubscribe. So. Well, we have a lot to talk about, Dan. We'll have to bring you back again. Thank you so much for joining us. You can check out Dan's website at edgyconversations.com.